In this video, we're going to show you the actual brand new 2020 goal setting tool and widget on the home screen of Command. So when you log into Command now, you're going to notice on the home screen, right under Tasks, we have a new Goals versus Actual widget. And this is going to help us start tracking for your month and the year. And this is now setting your goal for 2020. So we're going to be able to say, hey, it looks like your goals are not set. Let's set them now. And we're going to go to the Kelly Guide. So that way next year as we start using command, it's going to track all of our activities. And then it's going to track when you enter in a new lead and when you move the lead to an appointment. All the way to the closing, which is great and help you visualize your goals. So we're going to say set them now. This is going to open up the Kelly Guide for this tool. So you're going to see here what should I expect to set out these goals. We're going to set our goals and then we're going to review them. Now when you get started, you're going to notice the little widget it's just showing you what you're going to have, which means we're going to be able to look at your annual profit monthly. We're going to be able to look at your annual goals. There's all kinds of little informational bubbles here to learn all about this. And it's based on the Millionaire Real Estate Agent book and using command. So this is a little different than the CGI tool, Career Growth Initiative, used in the past because it's going to tie everything you do to command directly to your production, which is great. So we're going to start with number one, setting the goal. And the only option you have right now is for next year, 2020. We are now less than 90 days from 2020. Now the default is netting a million dollars of profit because it's based on the Millionaire Real Estate Agent book. We understand that everybody wants to net a million dollars of profit and that might be that big dream down the line. So this is just a start. And my advice would be, you know what? What if it was just $100,000 of profit? Meaning after my expenses, all of my commissions, I wanna have $100,000 profit in my bank. You would just simply delete one zero. What's your average commission in your area? If you aren't sure, by the way, they will have these little information bubbles all along the way. So in my area, it's actually $9,000. Now, what's your operating expense? Since we just moved one decimal, I'm just going to reduce one and one. However, I'm really not spending that much, so this is where you can change your numbers. Maybe for my year, operating expenses would be kind of everything you're going to pay for. Salaries, lead generation, marketing expenses. You may not be spending that much, so maybe I want to lower this to 20000 And cost of sale would be like my commission splits, any transaction coordinator fee, and let's just say my total cap and franchise fees is $23,000. That would just be one example. If you need more clarity around this, get with your productivity coach or your team leader and they will help you with these numbers. Now the goal is to have a balanced business from the Millionaire Real Estate Agent book, which means for every listing I get, I should at least get a buyer or two or three. Now this is defaulting to 50-50. If you're gonna work more listings, you can change it here. If you're gonna work more buyers, you can change it there. For this example, I'm just gonna leave it which means if my average commission is $9,000 and I want to have a goal of $100,000 of profit and my cost of sales and my operating expenses are a total of about $43,000, then in essence, I need to have about $8,300 of profit or almost $12,000 of gross commission income a month. So we're going to say save and continue. Next is going to bring you your conversion rates. Now, this is new for a lot of us because it's actually going to look at your conversion from inside command, meaning activities are everything you do inside command, like when you track a phone call, when you send an email, if you do any texting. Every activity you track inside of command is going to count as an activity towards converting a lead or contact into getting an appointment. So I'm leaving these as they are. They're saying for every activity I do, 3% of them should take me and should generate a lead out of that. Now leads again are gonna be kind of your one-way conversation and that might be leads coming in, referrals from other agents or other clients. This could be Zillow leads, Facebook leads, which is now inside of command, right? This is ways that you could bring things in. Ultimately, I'm gonna convert those leads to contacts whether I'm building my contacts with the bold system, right? Or I'm adding more contacts with mine, having a two-way relationship with these people. And you're gonna see the conversion keeps going up. From there, our goal is to set an appointment. Then we're gonna keep our appointment. And ultimately, we're gonna have them sign our agreement. Now, this one is the actual bug in the system right now. They're going to be removing it. So for right now, you would just zero that out, by the way. I'm gonna leave these conversion rates as they are because this is just the standard we're setting today. Next year, when we set our goals for 2021, 
the system's going to know my natural conversion rates based on everything I do in command. So this will be the first time you do it manually, and next year, Kelly's going to know your conversion rates and track all this stuff for you, which is really exciting. So we're just zeroing out agreements, and then we're going to move everything else up. So from here, that's going to mean my under contract might actually be 80%. And closed units, I'm going to say 90% of them actually lead to a closed unit. This is just an example. You've got your little eyes for information, and the glitch right now is just zero out agreements. And you'll see when we get to the next couple screens, agreements goes away. Um, they are going to be fixing that. So for now, if you want your conversions and everything to look right, this is kind of your best practice. And just for this example, I'm going to kind of go 60, 60, 70, 80, 90. All right, save and continue. That's the conversion rates. And I'm done. This now tells me my year goal, my month goal, is almost $12,000 of GCI coming in. I plan to have a balanced business of 50% listing, 50% buyers, 70% annual profit goal. These are my cost of sales, and these are the conversions for this all to equal my $100,000 of profit. And when you go to what's next, from here, you can just go to reports and view your goals. That's how you go through the Kelly Guide to set up your goals. And when you go to reports, this is going to be a more robust one. So it's going to track your activities, which lead to the leads, which lead to your contacts, which leads to an appointment set, which leads to an appointment kept, which leads to my signed agreement, which leads to under contract, and leads to my closed listing. This is going to be everything here for profit this month and this year. They are working on some weekly and daily views as well. And this is the activity. So remember I said everything in the system you do, it's going to track, meaning if you have a meeting, it's going to track it. Phone calls, emails, text messages, smart plans, calendar events, notes, search, neighborhood, favorite activity, and favorite listing. The more you interact with your clients using command, the better your activity breakdown is going to generate you some business. And we're going to be able to track that, which is really exciting. Your goal conversion, going to bring everything down. Notice it pushed everything up. So remember I said that one that we zeroed out, it actually just moved everything up one category. So it is doing the agreement calculations. That placeholder was just kind of out of place. And then you're gonna have your goal break down here. Again, this is there. Now this little timer has thrown people off. This is how many days until 2020 goals take effect. Meaning we've set our goals now. These don't start tracking activities and take effect until January 1st, 2020. So now that it's set at the beginning of the year, you can see it here in reports, and I can get to it from the home screen, and it's going to start tracking for next year. By the way, we're in the lab now, and we can start seeing for the goals for the member of the year, and I can go into the tool and potentially set my ones for this year as well just to finish it out. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. Leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, follow me on KW Connect or YouTube today.